Uh, no, a good fastball. Uh, four seam was right and good. Sinker was also pretty good. And then the uh, curveball was uh, better than it's been in the past. So I was able to mix it up a little bit in and out and then drop breaking balls on under. So if you can do that, you're going to have success for the most part. Look at that third inning. You gave up the double, but then we're able to bear down with back to back strikeouts to get out of the inning. What was the key in that situation? Uh, not letting them throw a ball down the left field line. I mean, that was about as good a placement as you could possibly have on a bad swing. So uh, just uh, not let him next guy get a hit. That's pretty much all I did. In your mind, what is the level of concern for this team right now to be in a uh, stretch where you've lost 11 out of 19? There's a lot of good baseball players in here. I don't think they're worried about that. Um, if you start worried about the past, then the future will sneak up on you. So we're worried about what we got to do. We got a big series coming up against the team that uh, are pretty darn good. So we got to not worry about the past because they don't care what we've done in the past. They care about what's going on that day. So we got to worry about what is going on that day, the next team we're playing, the next game up, and that's all it's about. Are you surprised when he takes you out there? I know the bullpen's there for a reason, but are you surprised if you have a few fish comps? Uh, I'm the type of pitcher where if I don't throw over 100 pitches, I feel like I didn't do my job that day, so yeah, I mean, but when it's all said and done, that's part of this uh, part of this this run or where you're at during the season. You got a bullpen where you got guys that are fresh with an off day tomorrow, you know that most likely that's, you know, it's going to be six at the most, and then if you get in a situation where you got a close game, you know that D-Rap can go too, so uh, that makes sense.